people. So based on that, and it's a veterans event, so definitely we welcome you to come back any other time and to invite any of your other people to be back on with us as well. Absolutely, definitely. Thank you so much for having me on. This was great. No problem at all. And uh, Dean, uh, you know, we're about ready to wrap it up again. We've got more exciting guests next week. Um, I'm going to see if I can find them real quick, assuming this computer wants to act right and everything. But if you want to just tell people your parting thoughts that you always give us, because you have that little phrase that you always use, that I love that phrase, and you'll have to tell uh, Alice in it, because I've already <laughs> forgot it, because it's your phrase. It's not mine. Well, you know, as I always say each and every week, man, when you walk outside your front door, it's showtime and the world is your stage. Just make sure that people are not watching the rehearsal. With that being said, it's the six-man Dean Geronimo. Thank y'all worldwide for tuning in with us. Catch us tomorrow on the Skyhawk Radio Network at 2 o'clock for the replay. Remember, holidays, we take a break. But we'll be back next week to celebrate Mark Lee's birthday and all of that. I'll see y'all. Have an outstanding week. That's right. And we'll be on various platforms, including Apple uh, Play, Stitcher, TuneIn, and all of that kind of stuff to celebrate my birthday because, you know, I am into the blues music and things of that nature. I have invited two amazing blues singers to come on and talk about their music. Since I'm a blues fan, of course I'm going to invite blues musicians to come on my birthday and talk. So we've got Lisa Mann and Laura Price. They have got some amazing stories because they went through all kinds of things in their life. That is why they became blues singers. As a matter of fact, uh, one was born in West Virginia and was uh, had to escape from an abusive father. The other was actually born in the Vietnam and abandoned at birth and became a part of the Operation Baby List during the Vietnam War. And both of those are now amazing blues singers. So I'm looking forward to having both of them talk about how those changes in their lives helped them become the great blues singers that they are, and hopefully they'll break down and sing some songs. Who knows? Maybe I'll even talk them into singing Happy Birthday. They just might. (laughs) Nothing wrong with that, man. Nothing wrong with that at all. We thank y'all again, man, and we will see you next week. Appreciate you. Have a good one.